Hello and welcome to Fallout New Vegas. So I've gone into a bit of a brick wall, realized I just don't want to do the main story yet. So I'm going to go off and do Old World's, Old World's Blues. I, I don't know, seems like it might be fun to do. Now, in the interest of transparency, I actually did record two episodes. But I forgot to make sure that I was actually recording the screen. So it was just me talking over a black screen for about two hours nearly. Not the most exciting thing to watch. Yes, I'm a goddamn idiot. Right. I'm sorry yet, so I need to wait another... 18 hours, I think. 17 hours. And I am gonna skip over the cut over the cutscene because that took up most of the first let first um episode. Now, back into character. The hell is this? Any ideas, Veronica? Eh, that's the worst that can happen. What? What? What's happening? What? What? Why can't I move? Veronica, where are you? Talk to me! What just happened? Huh? So heavy. Where'd these scars come from? Wash. Are those people? Oh, still got my guns at least. Any nice EP rounds in my. That gun. Good. Camera first. 20 gauge shotgun. Combat knife. Alright. Wait, what? What happened to my armor? They didn't take my beret or breather. The hell? Patient down? Right. Let's get on with it then. Sink. What the hell is this place? What the hell is this place? Central Intelligence Unit. Unusual there. Energy cells? Mm, leave those. Can't use them. Don't have enough lead for any of these. Unless I can get more. Leads. I just go with these because we're going to need them. Thing here. Mo well, we can never go wrong with that. Hmm. Any little secret? Eratron. Muggy. <laughs> Mad scientist scrubs? He has black. I have armor?
Why would I want to talk to a sink? Later. Good. Media stuff there. Place. That place. Big MT. Think tank. Well, might as well take this place out. Look. What? What's I want to hurt anything? Is this place? What? Certification fields kick in? All right, Shh. nobody move. I'll handle this. Be warned, intruder. You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of... We! By Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, eight? Doctor O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. Boss. Hey, breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough. Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now... No. Great. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? How are you all speaking through that one voice box? Did, did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals. Translate. It's a lobotomite. Here, in the dome. Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Dala, get the spray before it excretes all over everything. I wake up here, all cut apart, and I want some answers. Dr. Klein. This lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to. The skin envelope once containing it. If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it. The way it blinks. It's like a big, hairless teddy bear. I know what it is, Dala. I want to know why it's down here. With its... its limbs all over everything. And are those penises I see wriggling on its feet? Disgusting. I believe those are toes, Dr. Klein. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. But I don't recall the human penis ever being that large. It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Look at its little nose, with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static, these lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. I gotta take this one. Great! Now the penis on its hand is achieving erection. Dr. Klein. Look at it. It's head movements. The primitive jelly eye monitors. It's been following our conversation. The lobotomite understands us. I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. 
This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. Nonsense! Lobotomites can't comprehend us! Ace, have you been in the men's hats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all are. As usual, lobotomite. Who are you all, and what is this place? Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. He's asking me questions. Is this some kind of trick? Our efforts have turned against us. It Perhaps as we were ruthlessly lobotomizing it with our cutters, we filled the skin below with awareness. A teddy bear with new stuffing. Wait. If what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us, then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. Dr. Klein, a tr it can only be. Uh, if it isn't my old colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain, Big Fools, oh, it is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone, a zone that is, yes, forbidden to you. Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! Even the technology sealed in the Big Mountain Research Centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten-level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius, and the technologies that could save us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. Was ask the lobotomite for help. Eight, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what of its brain? We scooped that out. What? We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. If we ask it politely and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably Dude. disposed to us. They don't realize I can hear them count. You removed my brain. We removed your brain. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. So, my brain has been replaced. Huh. That's... Interesting. Yeah, Aid, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the... what? The, um... Uh... The Tesla coils in its head! This is fortunate in many respects. 
If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. How much surgery did you do on me? I feel like a badly put together jigsaw puzzle. That is my responsibility. Although in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. First was the heart. Okay. That might actually be useful in, say, Kazdor's. Oh, wait, I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. Spine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. If you ripped out my brain, where the hell is it? To be correct, you should say, the Autodoc took out your brain. It did all the heavy lifting. It has never worked so hard before. It was unusual. It worked so hard on your surgery, it destroyed its own memory. How odd. That Autodoc junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius by the fissure of Rolando and Lobotomite. Listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him, somehow, with science. First, you scoop out my brain. Now you want me to save you? That is correct, yes. I hope you're not demonstrating resentment now. If you are, well, we can't have that. What makes you so sure Mobius has my brain? We have no idea! This line of questioning isn't important to us right now! Why are you asking these tangential questions? Stop it! We need these technologies. You need to get them. You must get them. You are equipped to retrieve the technologies with your primitive form. We are not. It's kind of embarrassing. You have hands, and uh, a heartbeat, sort of, and eyes, mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and... Enough! <laughs> we need your help. Will you help us? I'm listening. Let's hear it. Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um, they, well, move sometimes. Or get buried. Or blow up. Eight is correct. All we need are the schematics. 
This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness, and, and even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. What are these technologies? The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see. And AIDS sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun. Able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. It also gives a great bio gel massage. There. We have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal uh, by our standards. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude. What if I take my time and explore the creature? What illogic is this? Keep your filthy penis tipped feet out of our labs and secrets. There are things here no lobotomite was meant to see. Things that would astound and possibly terrify. Terrify! Yeah, we don't come into your lab and decant your solutions. Only the magnificence of our monitors allow for true comprehension of the wonders of Big Mountain. Shield your jellied eyes lest they burn from your skull. Then can you help me get this done as quickly as possible? Sounds like a lot of walking. Ah, that is correct. You must walk upon your many penis feet much slower than our advanced hovering robotical frames the little teddy bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick that sounds suspiciously like i can't leave the radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility the mighty radar fan. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electro... Possible memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve de... But the nerve degradation... Such... You see... So I can't leave. Oh. What is it? Well, you know how we... What is this, a high school science fair? You're always yelling! I am yelling Get as you can on try. with this. For the love of please stop fighting. It is truly the end of all intelligence when the lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you, geniuses. So, if we have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun, then what in Heisenberg's name do we need from X8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X8. Oh, really, Boros? Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. Ding. Turkey's done. You give it to me. Oh, I don't think. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own. Ooh. Here, my little teddy. This silicone looks like an energy projectile. Have you got anything that spits lead? What did it say? Spit lead? What, like pencils? Oh, I think it wants a combustion pistol. A gun? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun! Dr. Eight is correct. We already have... 
Giving the teddy bear a gun would be the equivalent of following a glass of hemlock. With if we're going to bring the Socratic method into it, fine. Give the Lobato bear a comb- Are you mad? Wait, I said that already. Yes. Fine. Done. Um, this gun looks really hungry. I'd like to make sure it gets fed lots of bullets. Fine. Moros, more ammo. The good stuff. Top shelf ammunition. The JFP might make it. I could use some more energy stuff. No. What were you saying about force field disruption? Careful where you're pointing that. That device wasn't always a weapon. It was more like a force field kind of thing. Once. Force fields prevent us from moving. They are irritating. The sonic emitter was specially designed to disable our own safety field. That only happened once! Dr. O. Plenty of rewinding already going on in your filmography! Wait, so this gun you gave me can disable force fields? Yes. Maybe. Well, no. Not currently. Yeah, we lost that part of the schematics. Or Boros did. It is low. Right, I don't want to hear any more about that. Fine. I'll head out then. Well, good. Wait, I volunteer. No, that would put it too close. We can give it Mobius's old room. This is where its brain got scooped up. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and... I suppose. We'll have to move that couch out. Eight says, let the lobotomy... That stuffy Mobius program butler can walk... It would also prevent it from going to Higgs Village and take... Your logic combined with my design... Lobotomite! Then make whatever crude by a... Mm, this chip looks like it was mass-produced. Are there other ones? Are there other chips? Are you echoing what he said? He's asking, yes. Dr. Klein, there are... It is not an... I remember now, yes. Yeah. But you should stay out of those. No. Yes, there is no more... Uh, if you're... Of course! Go now! What the hell have I got myself into now? Well, let's go sort check out this sink first. Salutations and felicitations, sir, and a most jocund welcome to the sink. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? Use some kind of artificial intelligence? Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. There is no intelligence here, sir. You mean there are other personality modules here? Indeed, sir. Though this sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. If so, were to ask my opinion, I should venture that sir is better off without them. However, if sir is determined to inflict upon sir's self their dubious services, sir might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. So I can access their functions without loading the holotapes. Tragically, the core operating systems are also located on the personality tapes, sir. Once the tape is installed, sir may request I switch their dialectic interfaces off, and I shall oblige with great delectation. However, sir will still be required to locate and install a backup holotape to access their functionality. Hey, let's... let's... What services do you provide? Managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide Sir with direct access to the commissary. Any goods Sir might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface, whence tiny robots shall deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. I'd like to buy some things, see what you've got. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'd load 357s. Almost might as well take those. Too much damage. Use the terminal to create what we check. E powder pistol. It's Might I be of service, sir? Sony disc glove, which is probably... Reinforced combat armor. Type of plus 10 guns. Expense. I really need to start doing stuff about my For skill. That's my little pose. Right. I think I'm going to leave this episode here and then. As I was about to say. Hmm. I need to go to exit anyway. For flash. What do I get here? That would be food, water, and probably health as well. So I might as well get to this first. And then we shall see what happens next. So that's it for now. And as usual, if you like this, please comment, like, subscribe, all that, all that nonsense. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.